knows the two, two spots tree. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Good. All of these guys came early enough to get the free sample of the toothbrush tree. But for the other people, do you have any idea how did our grandparents wash their teeth? The toothbrush is a great invention. It keeps our breath fresh, our teeth white, and we have a wonderful smile. <laughs> also, our grandparents have the same concern. How do you think they solved it? The toothbrush is only 200 years old. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Toastmasters and other guests, I invite you to embark with me on a journey in the deep jungles of Africa and in the mysterious Middle East and in India to discover that in the world, people use trees as toothbrushes. Not only a toothbrush, but a toothbrush plus toothpaste. As a matter of fact, people has been using it for 182 different types of trees around the world are capable to be used as toothbrush trees. In fact, any tree which you find which is not poisonous to you and has a little bit of a bitter taste is probably good for your teeth. It is that simple. 85% of these trees are in Africa in these areas. The red ones. Since we don't have enough time to discuss 182 ones, we're only going to focus on one, the Miswak, the one regional to my country and to the Arabic world, and it's also been promoted in Islam by our prophet, who recommended it at least five times per day. The name of the tree, the scientific name, is Salvadora Garcia. Its Italian name has nothing to do with Salvador, don't ask me what it is. But it's well known for as toothbrush tree in the English-speaking world as mustard tree because of the taste and as salt bush because it's being planted in the salty area and in my country it's called miswak or arak tree. This is a cross section. Most of you are familiar with this already because you tried it. And it, uh, this, uh, this part is called the fiber and this part is called the bark. It has chemical properties, which is antiseptic and astringent, which are exactly the same ones you would find on a toothpaste. So the toothbrush plus the paste are included, and your saliva keeps it going. And you don't have to run to the sink to rinse, because you have it inside and it's good for your health. It is mobile, it's biodegradable, has many things which the current toothbrush is not there, and it's been used for 7,000 years around the world. This is a master degree, which I checked yesterday, a master, master paper, which people have been testing it against the um, bacteria growth in the lab. And they've been testing it against influenza, and you know what is this? Ebola. You can see how the growth goes down to zero when it's applied. This is a sample of the miswak, and you can see the effect on the growth. Actually, the scientists have found that it has either the same characteristics or better than the toothbrush, uh, toothpaste which we have. So, how do you use it? <laughs> First of all, you soak it in water, a few hours to soften, then you cut it, then you start to chew it, and then it becomes like a brush, and yeah. then you brush your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and when you're done with it, you put it in a nice wow. seal. Keep it with you so that it doesn't get dirty. <laughs> when you reach home, you put it in the refrigerator with some water so that it can stay fresh the next day. When this part gets worn out, you cut it off and you have a new brush. Wow. <laughs> if you want to put the Toothbrush, conventional toothbrush, and this one on arm combat. What would be the result? The toothbrush is better in the terms of reaching behind the tooth. However, it's not biodegradable. Whether this is 100% usable, it's actually from the root tree. It can be, uh, it can be uh, used away, away from things. So you can put it in your car, and on your way to work, <laughs> you can do it. You know, 
Pali Pali no need to <laughs> waste time brushing your teeth. You, how many minutes do you waste? Like 15 minutes per day? And also that normal brush has something called overbrushing. If it's this hard, it can it can hurt your teeth. This one it will break before it uh, hurt your teeth. And it's only only five percent of the cost of the uh, conventional toothbrush, and also you get toothpaste included. <laughs> it's leg removal and pH lowering is exactly the same. And it has combined, this one doesn't have. And if you buy it, you actually support low income communities so that they can keep growing it. And if they grow it in a long area, it will it's able to reclaim the land because it can grow in salty area. And this salty area, if you put it there long enough, it can become uh, usable for other kinds of vegetables. <coughs> only the lifespan is less, of course, but the cost is only 5% of the original one, so it's much more better. And is it internationally available? Not yet, but people are working on designs for that, so they are trying to make it more appealing for the international world, where it's not designed, which looks like a cigar, which you can cut it actually. It actually already looks like a cigar when I use it. And the modern look, it depends how you look at it. Mm -hmm. Some people find that not very modern. So I hope this presentation will intrigue your interest in going online and reading more about it. And you'll find some stores and in the papers you have find in front of you. It has much more detail which was able to put here. It has also websites where you can go and buy it from Germany, popular over there. And these are the publications which I was able to get this information from. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and thank you very much. Without him, how I could know this information? Please, <laughs> uh,